All right, we want to welcome you back to LLF Local Louisville Fighting for another episode. Let me hit that bell one time. Yeah. Yeah, we back in here. And, uh, of course, you have me, CWMC, your favorite ring announcer. We have... Katie Marks. Former amateur boxing person and mom of... <laughs> mom of two, two martial mom artist. Two. Yes, <laughs> Working. that's always true. Paint, per, paint lady, anything? <laughs> like, she, add paint, to the list. she paints on the side, man. Y'all need some help with your paint. You Sherman Williams, come holla. I've said, hey, we need some sponsors. Sherman, <laughs> stop playing. <laughs> and then we have our guest for the day, Mr. Isaiah Bay. Now, to get started, oh, before, let's get, before we get into Isaiah Bay, let's talk about Kentucky Silver Gloves that just went down this past weekend for New Year's. December 31st was a great show held by All or Nothing Boxing, Dorico, Future Promotions, Dorico Murray, Future Promotions, Bosses Not Bangers. Uh, these are some great organizations that are doing a lot of things out here. So glad to have that. It was a successful event, and those kids will be moving on to Toledo like next weekend. So after we're done with you, Mr. Bay, then we're going to bring the last spot on Jeff City and those kids that went up there, probably bring Carter boys in here, try and get Mari in here, see how that, see how that, is it regionals in Toledo? Is it regionals? It's mm -hmm. it gotta be. It's state? It's gotta be. It's gotta be regionals. Yeah, Kentucky Silver Gloves was like, the, it's state, it's regionals, state. And, then and then nationals. Yeah. All right, so Toledo will be regionals. Right. right. So they'll be in here. Check out a couple of the interviews of the boxers that fought. At the on the at the state card, and they're going to the that show. So, so we'll have them in here for the next show after a MLK Day. So, on MLK Day, I don't know why any black people go to work. That's a different podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's a different podcast. <laughs> so, our guest today, I want to thank you for being here, Mister Bay. Let me lead you in a little bit on this gentleman right here. Uh, from when I first met him, he was a coach, and still is not was still is a coach at Jeff City Boxing. And that's basically all I knew. So now we get ready to find out together. We all get ready to find out together what this young man really does. So let's get started with uh, let's get started with your clothing line first, because everybody out of Jeff City got a clothing line popping. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hold on, hold on, Jeff City. Y'all got boxing, the entrepreneurship over. Y'all got yep. everything popping over. So let's start with the clothing line. What's the name of your clothing line? Uh, my clothing line is called The New Dream. Uh, it's been in the works for about two years. Uh huh. Um, my sister and I started it, um, together, and yeah, yeah, and it just <laughs> and just started going. So right now, like, is this what you is this what you call it? A new dream? A new dream? Yes, sir. A new dream? Okay, that's pretty good. You got a jacket on right now. Mm -hmm. So all let's see, new dream. Got a uh, sweatshirt, custom made sweatshirt. Shout out to uh, Big Sin. Uh huh. Big Sin <laughs> helped me uh, tie dye these. Showed me a little a uh, couple things around as far as like customizing pieces and everything like that. And I even got these. Uh, oh, let me on. see. Let me see. Uh, what you got? Yeah, check them out. Hold oh, on, pants. We got the pants here. Okay, so nice. you got the sweatpants, New Dream sweatpants. All right, I'm liking that. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. And uh, when we had uh, when we had Sin on here, aka John L. Taylor, when we had Sin on here that weekend, you all were doing a uh, you all were doing an event for just a clothing line mm -hmm. out there. How did that go? The you, were you there too? too? You remember? You yeah, remember? no, I didn't make it out there. I but didn't make you it guys out had there. like eight booths, and you had mm -hmm. one, and he had one. Yeah. And... So we uh collabed on that event. Uh, mm -hmm. It didn't go as planned. You know, grateful for how it did go, but right. um, yeah, it just didn't go as planned. We found out later that that same night the Jack Harlow concert was going. And oh yeah, that's a uh, tough. Yeah. That's a tough bet right there. That's a tough yeah. competition. <laughs> that's so a, a lot tough of, competition. A lot of events like were kind of super dead. The whole city popped out for Jack. So yeah, of course, yeah. of course. So Jack Harlow, everybody popping out for you. you already know. What's up <laughs> that. All right, so but you all still held it. All right, mm -hmm. so back. So let's get into your uh, boxing career. You are a coach at Jeff City Boxing, and did you used to box? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You used to box. 
How did? How long did you box in? How did that go? Were you amateur? Did you ever go pro? I was boxing for about eight years. I never went pro. All right, so um, you were amateur. Yeah, yeah, I was amateur the whole time. Uh, I started boxing when I was fourteen. Uh huh. I had my f- last competition when I was twenty-one. Okay. So that's what seven years. Seven years, close mm-hmm. enough. I don't know. Seven Math years. Mathematician. That's why I do a show. I don't know my mathematics. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm working out. Yeah. Was it out of you were with Jeff City the whole time? No. Or where did you um, start out? I started off with um, one of these other gems around. I don't really want to start. Got you. Understood. Understood. Yeah, I started off with them. You know, I was yeah. with them for a few years. But um, as I got older, I realized that um, we just weren't in alignment. You right. know, we kept button heads and everything. Okay. Uh, we just didn't see eye to eye. So um, we had to part ways. All right. No, yeah. it happens. It happens. It happens in business. It happens in everything that we do. So, mm-hmm. when you left there, did you end up? Is that where you ended up at? Was in uh, Jeff City? Uh, no, I was really. Um, oh, you went a couple places before you landed. Yeah. How did, all right. So, how about this? Let's switch it up. How did you land in Jeff City? Uh, well, I was training with a couple other coaches. Uh-huh. Um, didn't really f- feel too comfortable. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? And uh, I guess it was a comfortability thing. Uh, you you got to be with yeah. people that are so like like relationships. You have to be with people that are equally yoked. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. if I'm gonna rock with you, then we got to have some type of commonality or some mm-hmm. type of thing that would make it easiest for us to work together. Mm-hmm. Like you know, prime example, uh, take your job instance. There's some people some people don't get the promotion because guess what? Somebody don't want to work with you. Ain't nothing personal. They just <laughs> would rather work with this person than that person. Mm-hmm. So it just happens, and it's part of the territory, and especially in boxing. So there's no need in getting. Anybody's ruffles, feather, and all of that type of stuff. Yeah, Not yeah, for sure. Yeah. So you ended up at Jeff City. You started the moment from stop boxing, and now you're in Jeff City. Did what? The Vos holla at you, Jeremy Vos, Jeff City. He holla at you and be like, "Come on, let's coach." Or because when I saw you in there, you are you cool with Carter Red, Coach Red? How yeah, did, yeah, yeah. So um, the way it worked, uh, to be honest, I was kind of in a bad situation in life uh-huh. you know so uh jeremy offered me like a position basically yeah to help that's, out with that's the, the jeremy i know yeah to help <laughs> out uh with the kids and everything especially since so many was coming through right um i got a big i got a good understanding of the basics so um the kids love me and uh ever since then uh now i kind of just volunteered to do it just because you know, I built such a great relationship with the kids. Right, that's great. So, do you uh, when you coach over there, you got the kids classes? Yep, yep. Mondays, okay. Mondays and Wednesdays, five fifteen to about um, six forty five. All right, all right, cool. So you're teaching the basics now nowadays, but then back when you're still fighting, you can get your workout in while you're still coaching. Yeah, yeah, that was hard too. I'm gonna be honest. It takes uh, a lot of your time. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I had my hands dabbled in a couple other things besides mm-hmm. uh, just boxing. You know, like the whole time my my last uh couple fights that I had, I was just debating. Like I felt like I was just fighting myself. Um, do I really see myself boxing long term? Right. Do I do I see myself making money from boxing long term? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. It was just certain. Um, like I wouldn't like not to toot my own horn, not right, to nah, be arrogant about it, but I wasn't no scrub or anything. You know. No, so. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's like. I'm I'm small, you know what I'm saying? I'm a small guy. Right. And uh, you know, some of the tough realities I had to face was like it's not really much attention on the lightweight my, yeah, division. This within is within my weight class. There's not true. really much money within my weight class. So right. you know, facing them type of battles and those type of doubts in my mind, it was kinda like how finding can I, a fight to get to that level yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's, you, you're lucky to see a hundred and twenty five to thirty five pound fight on on a pro undercard and mm-hmm. then the the feature fights are you know they're always midweight heavy midweight too heavy weight yeah i'm a, uh to be honest if i would have fought pro i probably would have had to turn pro at like uh like 112 112 uh, yeah so it's like really 112 little. 114 it just depends on like however uh the weight cut was right you know what i'm saying but it's 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 not really like I I just know how I am with boxing. Like I don't mm-hmm. really pay attention to those guys. Right. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Other people don't really pay attention to those guys either. So you know, it's not really much attention or money within that class. Right. Not to and say that it can't be made, but you know Yeah, yeah. It can't to be see made what's and... worth it to you. It's it's it wouldn't to me it wouldn't be a smart business move, you get what I'm saying? And 
Mm-hmm. That's kind of where my mind drifted to. Like I've always been like a bu- business driven. Nothing wrong with that. And that's all. And what I like about the fact that what you just said is uh, other boxers out there, I wonder, are they asking themselves the same question? Because I'm sure you're not the only boxer that's ever gone through that. I had to think about that. Some people push through it and some people decide to be like, you know what? Let's go another way. Yeah. And let's do something else. So totally understandable. And that's what people do. I'm just glad that you were able to look at yourself and ask yourself the hard questions and not mm-hmm. lie to yourself, basically. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, that's I feel like that's the biggest thing. Just being honest with yourself, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, if you're not honest with yourself, like, the work is going to show within it. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? So True. And I feel like that's what that's what it boiled down to. Like, I, my last two fights, honestly, I felt like I won them. You know what I'm saying? Like, not, not to be biased or anything, no, but uh. I felt like I won them. But, you know, uh, things just didn't go my way. Um, but I felt like I could have trained a little bit harder. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could have been... So you had some doubts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I could have trained. I feel like I could have trained a little harder. So, um, with that being said, like that, that could possibly be the reason why I lost. Could yeah. be, could be, could be, could be. I feel the same kind of boat too. Like my last fight was in twenty twenty one, and I spent eight months getting ready. And it wasn't for lack of like my coach not having my back. He had me lined up for two fights on his own cards, and they just didn't show. So I had two walkovers, and then I'm like. I'm getting online and find me a damn fight is how I felt. So mm-hmm. my last loss, I felt like I won too, but you're not going to go down to Texas and think you're going to win unless you knock them out. Yeah, so yeah, for sure. I went down there and yeah, after that, I'm like, I just spent my whole year. And I, and I know of pro fighters just watching like women fight specifically. Like they'd be like, she hasn't fought in three years, five years. She's just been looking for a POTUS. I'm like, I'm getting kind of old. And I'm like, I need to get my life straight if I ever want to get back in the ring to where I can commit, like you said, all the way. Because there's there's no half assing boxing. Mm-hmm. There's no yeah. half. No. no easiest way to get hurt right there. Yeah. Easiest way. Half stepping. Yeah. Mm-mm. No half stepping around here. Nope. So uh, who you got on? T- while we're on a real quick, who you got on tonight's fight? Yeah, tonight, oh, stole my well, question, Charles. Right, well, I stole, stole my question. question. <laughs> <laughs> who do you got uh, tonight's fight? Because this won't be this won't be aired to tomorrow. You all will see it. Sunday, but let's see who calls Saturday a winner. Night. Let's see who could call a winner. Right, so we're gonna see who calls a winner tonight. Who do you and who is it? It's uh Davis and Garcia. Gar Davis and Garcia. You know I gotta go with Tank. <laughs> I, like, I fuck with Tank heavy. Yeah. Uh, man, he's just a he's a dog. You get what I'm saying? But like, he's, he's technical uh, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be good. So who you got? Who you got? Man, it's just. Oh man, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I I gotta go with Tank on it too, just because um, it, it's gonna be a technical fight. But who's got the bigger dog in the fight? That's what's gonna come down to. I think. I think Tank got it. Yeah, heart will bring you a lot a long way for in boxing. To the, be honest, the one thing that could mess with his head though is just what happened last week to him. So did you catch that the charge news? that came out? Yeah, yeah if his head ain't a hundred percent. Yeah, you, I heard about yeah. it. I heard about if it. If that don't mess with his head, you know what I mean? Got it's ninety percent mental in there. So You never lied about that. It is ninety percent mental. But yeah, you got we got three tank supporters right here. So we, all <laughs> the tank to win. we still got your we back. All expect, yeah. <laughs> we all expect mm-hmm. the tank to win. So uh, as far as boxing is concerned, how will you Because uh, you're the type of person who's gonna ask yourself the tough questions and I'm glad you come out here and admit it. Uh as far as boxing is concerned, is it just coaching for you? Or have you ever thought about maybe I could turn around and get back in there? So what is your future in boxing looking like as of right now? I thought about it before. Uh, I really thought about it when I first quit, but now I don't really too much think about it. Um, yeah, when I first quit, like, I really, like, do I really want to quit? You know what I'm right, saying? Because it was... Right, right, right. <laughs> this is what I really want to do. I said I'm going <laughs> to, but... Going. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the last two guys that I fought, they weren't... You know, like they weren't scrubs. You know, one right. of them was ranked number one, uh, and he signed. He signed with some big promotional company. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm not too. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna throw any names right. out there because I don't remember like uh, who he signed with. But mm-hmm. he ended up going to uh, nationals that year and won him. You know right. what I'm saying? So okay. Okay. Um, he was ranked number one at the time that I fought him, and it was my first fight in three years. Okay. So uh, the other guy, um, he ended up he's. I, th- I think he's pro now, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But uh, that fight, I just feel like I wasn't active enough. Like, I didn't I didn't throw enough punches, but I still feel like I won. But, you know, it is what it is. But fighting at that, like, a lot of my losses earlier, mm-hmm. you know, like, they weren't 
from Scrubs. You know what I'm saying? They were right. always legitimate, mostly legitimate. Bangers, yeah, they were. Know? They <laughs> were mostly guys who uh, were ranked high in the nation. You know what right. I'm saying? And I was able to compete with them on that type of level. So, I, I like I know my potential for sure, but right. it's just kind of like if if it's not really in your heart the way it needs to be. Then you it's hard to succeed in it the way you want to. Woo! Say it again, brother. <laughs> if it is not in your heart the way that it needs to be, it's gonna be hard to succeed in it, man. Mm-hmm. That's a it's a gym right there. That's a gym <laughs> right there. And yeah. uh, I like the insight, I like the follow up with that as well. And uh, so, the clothing line. How can people find you or find your clothing line? Uh, I have an online store. I could uh, I could find it at the New Dream dot shop online. I got Instagram. New, new dream dot shop. A new dream dot shop. Yep. A new dream dot shop. And then y'all can find us on Instagram, a new dream LLC. New dream LLC on Instagram. Y'all can also find us on Facebook, a new dream LLC. All right, cool, cool. So that's how, and make sure you get a chance, you get a chance to talk to this guy, get a chance to uh, buy us. He look kind of fly, man. That's <laughs> <laughs> fly. What, uh, uh, what's style. the word they use now? Swag. Yeah, swag. You got some swag. Look, drip. <laughs> drip. <laughs> that was the one he was looking for. Is that the one I was looking for. Sorry. The, the, the drip's fire. There we go. I got it. I got it. The drip is fire. Yeah, <laughs> appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. And uh, so, and other than how, uh, uh, another question I'd like to ask you before we get up through and get out of here because. Uh, Oh, man, I gotta go work. <laughs> um, tell me something that you bring to coaching the kids at Jeff City. Tell me something that you bring that Isaiah Bay bring. Uh, I feel like I'm young. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm young, and just because I'm so young, uh, I'm relatable. You know what I'm right. saying? So the kids are able to build like a, a good relationship with me, and uh, I feel like everything starts off with a good relationship. Without a good relationship, it's it's hard to accomplish what you need to accomplish. You know what I'm saying? So um, you know, I'm young, uh, playful, playful, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> young, right. playful, you know what I'm saying? And I have a solid foundation of the basics. Um, when I was boxing, like I spent so much time focusing on the basics, even when I was, um, a little bit more advanced, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I still did basic drills, made sure everything was as technical as possible. I used to, I remember spending hours just watching my film, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Trying to see like where I went wrong, why did I get hit right in this instance, and you know what I'm saying, like just certain things like that, and that's, I feel like that's helped me just get a, a solid foundation of the basics. Good, 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 like to hear that. And I'll tell you the first story I have of uh, Isaiah Bay, it was when uh, Jeff City was at the old gym. You guys were at the old gym, not the gym that you guys are in. Now. Uh-huh. This is at the old. I remember gym. that. Yes, yeah, I remember that too. the first time I walked, and he was coaching the kids. And if you go back and look on the page of the YouTube page, you can see I got him in there, and it was like the first time I had been to Jeff City, and uh, it was Slossy actually showing me around that day, and he was like talking about Isaiah Bay, and this guy works with the kids, and what a great coach he was. So yeah, Slossy is the one who actually got me into boxing. You know what I'm saying? He was the closest thing to a big brother I could ever have growing fill up, up. Fill you know up. Fill so, up. Fill up. Much I love, Slossy. Shout out, man. Love to that. Good dude. Good dude. Like that guy. And he's a hell of a boxer. Oh yeah, yeah. Gosh. Ridiculous with the boxing. Ridiculous <laughs> with the yeah. boxing. So let me see here. All right. We so are we could, about at that time. Is there, <laughs> we could really we, we could, got we got it. Yeah, we, 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 we can rock got a little more. Yeah. All right, all right. Until about five more. So five ten. Where are you from? Were you were you Louisville? You Southern Indiana? Were you born? Where'd you go to high school at? Where you grew? I'm from Louisville. I went to high school at Butler traditional. Oh, you Butler, Butler kid. Butler yeah. Bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Butler Bear. So Louisville local? Yep, yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, in high school, did you do anything? Did you wrestle or did you do anything? Uh, uh, to be honest, uh, it's, it's may sound bad, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what was in them it streets? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you got your radios nah. out the car, man. What was you doing? <laughs> I'm messing with you. <laughs> Hell no, nah, but... Uh, <laughs> No, nah, but uh, in in high school, like uh, my my attention really wasn't on school. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like uh, I was so locked in with boxing, and I honestly started like um, reading a lot. Hey, hey, hey! That's where it's at. A lot of people, hey, they they missing on that. Yeah. They missing on that. That's where it's at, right there. So like, once I started reading more often, like 
I stopped going to school so much, and like I just felt like it was pointless to be honest. Like, as, why am I here? Like, I wasn't really learning much. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I was learning more outside of school than I was inside of school. So that could be like that. That's how got some people buried look in at the it. books. That was that was my strength. Yeah. I wouldn't mind writing a ten page research paper in a few days, but don't give me any math, please. please don't <laughs> <give me> math. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'll edit your papers all day, but <laughs> do you uh do you? So the kids that you train at Jeff City, because you have to be what? To be in competitive boxing, you got to be what? Eight years old? Eight, yep. You got to be eight. Do you, you mess with eight years old? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, there's some kids in there that's younger, too. Um, mm-hmm. It just really depends on, like, the attention span. Like, some some kids, you know, they come in there super early, and they, you know, they're not able to, like, pay attention during class and everything like that. So right. um, it just depends on, like, their maturity level, really. So how do you transition from... Not having fun in school, getting being a bookworm, and then hey, you know Selassie Bay, and he was like, "Hey, come to the gym." Or, or, or did that? You know? Selassie's the one who actually like encouraged me to to start reading. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, right. yeah, like like right. I said, he was like the closest thing to a big brother that I had growing up. Right. Um, he was he was self driven and self educated himself, mm-hmm. and you know, like just looking up to him growing up, it it kind of just like encouraged me to do the same. But um, I was I was I stopped like I started reading when I was like my junior year in high school. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I started boxing when I was 14, so I was boxing uh prior to me like educating myself and everything like that. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. That's about how it went down. Yeah. That's about <laughs> how. It went. So. So Lashi just walks up to you one day and is like, come on, man, let's just go box. Now, I remember. Uh, <laughs> did, he, did he knock somebody out? And you was like, ooh, ooh, I can do that. I always <laughs> wanted, to be honest, I always wanted to box, but we couldn't afford nothing growing up. Like, we couldn't afford, like, It'd be like extra. Bo- Box is a expensive sport. Don't nah, understand. boxing is a the broke man sport. You yeah. know, that's what they call it. It is, but to get to where you need to go. And yeah, for sure. Yeah. The tournaments, for sure. the nationalized, the rankings. Yeah, I learned all, all that. that. That costs money you have to, to get go there. Yeah. To those parts. But I couldn't, like, I couldn't never play basketball, football, all that stuff, because we just couldn't afford it. But um, I told him, I remember one day uh, he was going to the gym, and I was like, uh, I want to go with you. You right. know what I'm saying? Him and his dad took me. And... Mm-hmm. Uh, the coach at the time, that's who I started with. The uh-huh. coach at the time was like, when are we going to get you in here? I was like, when can I start? You know what I'm saying? But Word. he told me, <laughs> he told me uh, the monthly fee and I couldn't, like, we couldn't the afford it. Fee, yeah. And he right. was just like, you know, we'll train you for free and everything like that. When he told me that, I was all in. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> boom. <laughs> yeah, I was all in. That's all it took. And see, and be like, greatness comes from, you'd be surprised where it comes from. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And so, and if I don't get a chance, man, there's something that I want to say before you leave here is that we got a lot of things, man. And like, I woke up this morning and leaving out my door, someone had passed away. You know what I'm saying? Somebody passed away. They don't know if it was from foul play or if it was from natural causes, young, young black male. When we see guys like you out here doing this thing, man, it's not a matter of how you got there and which way you got there. But the fact that you're there now and that you're trying to do something positive. That's a positive light and that's a Definitely. positive shine. I just love I right make there. sure that you get some love and some juice for that and that Appreciate you keep that. showing and shining. And it's not only you, like Jeff City full of them, man. There's other boxing gyms out here full of them. These guys is mm-hmm. out here killing it. Make sure you support your local boxing community. But these guys are out here doing positive things. Local entrepreneurship, local your local businesses, you know. You know, go exactly. go to the farmers market, buy that those those fresh veggies from mm-hmm. people just trying to add a little bit more to, to make it too. You know, buy the local clothing line. It looks just as sharp as what you find in the mall, sometimes even better. Thank right. And you're not even Say paying that half that price. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. I appreciate that for real. And uh have you ever had a chance to see any of your kids fight? Uh, did you ever get? Did you ever get one that I have? Was like I have. So like, the way the program works is that they basically they they start with me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then after like I see consistency and uh, you know what I'm saying like a maturity level to where they can advance to the the higher class, which is Jeremy. Right. Then uh, you know we go ahead and advance them to them. Do you, okay. Okay. And That's like the fight the team. Line. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so yep. the fight team. That's how that mm-hmm. works over there. That's how that works over there. That's very good. That's very cool. Do we uh? So and I know you've been going through some tough times lately. So once we started the Jeff City bit, because I was like, when we started the Jeff City uh, spot, I was like, okay, I want to talk to this person, I want to talk to this person, I want to talk to this person, I want to talk to this person. So your name was on the list, <laughs> and uh, do we want to speak on that? Man, well, what it is? 
with the with the ride. Uh, you gonna leave that alone, man. Uh, <laughs> t- with that, man, like how how I see it is, uh, you know, it's a careless mistake, but at the same time, there's a positive, terry negative. You know what I'm saying? So, All right, say that again. <laughs> get that. Say that again. What did you call? What was that word? It's a positive to every negative. So positive every negative. I yes. can't like <laughs> I, I, I at first I was you know I was mad. You know what I'm right. saying? I really wanted to you know do. So I was mad. Know, they stole my man's cop. <laughs> they stole yeah. my man's cop, bro. I'm what like, come the on. Hell? He out here trying to do right. Yeah. Y'all out here trying to steal, bro. But I ain't doing nothing <laughs> bad out here. So, right. you know, like the universe is going to bless me regardless. So, say was it able again. To... Say it again. <laughs> karma going to come from them. This man yeah. out here helping kids, working on his clothing line, and y'all jack his cop. My like, dang on, business man. over here. What the heck? Yeah, <laughs> but hey, uh, you know, I was. Like I said, the universe gonna bless me re- regardless. Uh, I was able to get a newer car, you know what I'm saying? Um, and shit just worked out in my favor. So it was actually a good thing that, you know, some bums took my car. Right, right. <laughs> we gonna leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? So if you if you want it, go out and get it. Try not to steal it from somebody else. Uh-huh. <laughs> but just leave it at that. Yeah, so when I was hitting, I was like, okay, so I'll bring Isaiah Bay in here and here. And he's like, nah, man, he going through it right now. He just got hit. I said, oh. For real, I said, all right, we'll catch him towards the end. <laughs> I said, we'll yeah. catch him towards the end. He may not be in the right mindset right now, <laughs> so we'll catch him towards the end. But I'm glad that that worked out for you, man. Mm-hmm. And that's a positive that came out of that. Yep. That it did. Let's see here. Boom. That's about right right there. Before we get out of here, um, I, do, you, do, you go, uh, do you ever go and visit the Nationals or when they do regionals? Do you ever roll with them? Do you ever ride with Ron, them? I wish Check I could, out. to be honest, but man, I've been working, grinding so much. Like, I ain't really got it too much time to like I wish I could have popped out to the uh to the silver gloves right. especially since it was uh since it was in Louisville yes. you know what I'm saying yeah. like first then, time been in Louisville in 20 you years. said 20 so we're 13 so it's over 20 years. About this. right so I get there uh-huh trying to do research I'm asking around I'm like damn when was the last time <laughs> Kentucky it's been a minute it's been a minute I don't know so I went with 13 <laughs> somebody said 13 I've been doing this 13 years Kentucky silver gloves has never been in Louisville it's been in the state of Kentucky Never been in Louisville. And then you hit the interview, and I was going through the interview, and she says 20. I said, <laughs> oh, man. So I had shot my spot like an hour before she got there. So I was like, ah, I'm not worried about that. But, yeah, I'm a little salty. I couldn't, like, yeah. uh, when I was competing and everything, I couldn't do that, you know. So that's, that's a big uh, milestone for Louisville right there. Yeah, it was, hey, it was huge. It was good, and it was, it was a great show. Everything was awesome. A lot of people turned out, too, man. So shout out to those people that turned out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ali's grandson, Mark Pence, in the building. You had, uh, I'm going to post a picture of, uh, you had Mike Jones, <laughs> <laughs> Team USA boxing coach. He was in the building looking for talent. You had, uh, I always mess up this girl's last name, man. Pro boxer, 2 0, fighting at Murfreesboro, two time champion, Samantha. Is it Ketchums? Is it Ketchums? Kitchens. Kitchens. Is it Kitchens? Kitchens. Is it Kitchens? Yeah, I think it's Kitchens. <clears throat> she was in the building. So there was a lot of people that turned out. And even though it was a New Year's event, because you'd be thinking, New Year's, uh, I got something else to do. I ain't going to watch boxing. But a lot of people turned out. It was, it was a, a good, good midday show. event. It was. Know, good. It and and we were up. done by six. We were. So you could have went out and got yeah. your New Year's it on, didn't too. Inter- interrupt mm-hmm. <laughs> right. So yeah. we didn't interrupt your night either. You just <laughs> came through, and you could do your night as, as well. So the Kentucky Silver Gloves is good. And the next time we come back here, we will uh, we'll have some of the guys from Jeff City that went to regionals in Toledo. and We'll see how that went for them as well. Hell yeah. That we will. So, and if I ain't get a chance, happy new year. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you know likewise, man. Likewise. <laughs> Our first guest of the new year, Isaiah yeah. Bay, Jeff City. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for Our being first. here, man. That's yep. is there awesome. uh Is there anything you'd like to say before we go? Oh. Uh, anything you like to tell the people, like the kids, kids in your class? <laughs> uh, keep grinding. <laughs> keep grinding. Keep grinding. Yeah, how yeah. about the, uh, how the fam situation for you? You know, and supporting the things that you go through, man. You know, some people have it, some people don't. What about you? The fam, how's the family? Is, uh, uh, my family's straight. Uh, it's kind of immediate, though. Like, right. uh, <clears throat> Let's speak all you want to, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of immediate. The closest people to me I got is my brother and my sister, so... Um, if y'all watching this, I love y'all. Hey, you heard yeah. it. Yep, brother and sister. If y'all watching this, Isaiah Bay love y'all. <laughs> we got y'all. Anything you like to say before we go, Katie? Okay? Man, don't forget that fight tonight because that's going to oh, be a banger. Yeah. Don't forget the that's fight That's going to be a night. banger. We all got tank for the record. We all got tank. We all got yeah. tank. So next come time on, we tank. come in here, if tank lose, <laughs> yeah. it's going to be another We're going to have to talk tank. about that. We're going to have to talk about that. So uh, I want to wish you all a happy new year. 
We're back in the building. We got another season for you all. We're going to try and step it up level as far as uh, people that we bring in here and the things that we do. So, Happy New Year. Let's just keep it moving. And uh, y'all have a good one. On right, Louisville. Yeah. Support your local boxing community, man. We out of here. <laughs> Isaiah Bay. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>